Howdy folks and welcome back to Biz Vibe. I'm Vivian Camille and today I am reviewing the La Sportiva Blizzard GTX. Because this is such like a burly shoe, I feel like it needs that kind of introduction. Since we are finally in winter and it's getting blizzardy and snowy all over the country. I thought it was about time to review these. I've owned these for two years at this point. I think two, two and some change. And yes, I live in Tucson, Arizona. And so I'm not using these every single day. However, I do travel quite a bit and frequently bring them on my overnights when I know I'm gonna be in places where the trails are gonna be covered in snow and potentially ice. While I'm reviewing these, keep that in mind that I don't use these every day. I don't use these for three months consistently through the winter season. Um, I use them a little more hit and miss um, sporadically when I choose and when I know that I'm gonna be on trails that are just snow. I bought these shoes with my own money, so this is my honest opinion and my honest review. Take that how you will. Sizing! These are true to size. Um, as far as La, La Sportiva is concerned, I wear a 39, which is like a seven and a half in women's. These are 39 and I didn't feel like I needed a bigger size. However, I would consider thinking about what kind of winter socks you're gonna be wearing with these shoes. Are you gonna wear a super thick wool sack or a thin one? Just think about that and potentially you might wanna go up a half size or even a full size. Some people do say they needed a larger size because of their sock choice. I wear a medium thickness ski wool sock with these generally and i found no problems but my foot is narrow and it's probably more petite than maybe the general foot the rest of the fitting i'd say is pretty snug la sportiva is a european company and so the shoes are a bit narrower all around and this one is no exception to that uh, i like that though i want my foot to be warm dry comfortable and snug in a winter shoe especially and i like that that the lacing up here really enables you to lock down your foot into the shoe and get a really snug fit along with this stretchy material up here that somewhat acts like a sock. So on the upper, there is the stretchy material up here. It closes up the ankle, especially if you're wearing leggings or those high socks. And I think it does a good job of keeping out most of the snow, which is great because the shoe with lower ankle clearance is going to get a lot of snow in it. And then you're going to end up with a wet foot but not with these because not only do they have this thingy thing up here, they also are made of Gore-Tex. So I have tested them and from what I can tell, they are pretty dang waterproof. I think the only reason why you would get dampness in here is one, if your feet sweat a lot and you have sweaty toes or if the snow gets in through the top. The question with Gore-Tex is always, is it gonna be breathable enough? With these shoes, I find that they're Decently breathable for me. Uh, I don't consider myself to be a foot sweater, generally. And I had no problems with my foot getting overheated for any reason. I mentioned the laces once again, they're great. You can tuck them all into their little home. And then there's the side cinching that just further locks down your foot so that the shoe stays on and stays stable while you run and potentially post hole through a lot of the snow. I think is really necessary and important in a winter running shoe to keep the dang shoe on. <laughs> Don't want to lose a shoe in the snow. That's sad day. I do like how sturdy the top of this shoe is. The mesh is thick. Overall, it seems very sturdy and has done a good job of protecting my feet as I run through the snow and potentially hit hidden rocks and things like that. Just because it's sturdy does not mean that you have to compromise on flexibility and mobility. Uh, I do think these are still a pretty decently flexible shoe. Um, I never felt like I had to compromise on any sort of range of motion within my ankle or my foot being in these shoes. And really for like the size of these shoes with the metal on them too, they're surprisingly light. When I took them out of the box, I was definitely taken aback. I was like, oh gosh, these look like a hiking boot, but they don't feel like a hiking boot. When I put them on, I don't even think twice about it. Moving on to the second half of the shoe, the bottom part, probably the biggest feature of this shoe is they have these little hobnails in them, which are just little metal spikes. And then of course, these super thick 
heavy duty lugs. Generally, I feel really confident running in these shoes and I, I appreciate the outsole because it really does have great traction. I think these do a really good job in the snow and on somewhat icy terrain, but beyond that, I wouldn't be too confident running in these. Anytime you're gonna be on black ice or any like serious ice, these are not going to cut it. Something to consider with the metal spikes is if you're not gonna be running in full snow, ugh, just irks me. It sounds kind of like nails on a chalkboard or feels kind of like that. When you hit like a rock or if you're on regular terrain, it just, I just feel like I'm doing something bad, really bad to my shoe. It's not the end of the world. You're just grinding down the spikes a little bit more, but ugh, it's just kind of like, ugh, I don't like it. So I do my best to pick my runs wisely and when I, when I do wear these shoes and making, making sure that I'm on snow <laughs> for almost all the trail. And lastly, the cushion here on this shoe, I think does a really good job of protecting the foot. Underneath, I thought that I might feel these little spikes and I, I wasn't able to feel them at all when I was running in the snow. And you know, when you hit the rocks, you like hear them and like kind of feel them against it, but you don't feel them like on your foot. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like they're spiking up into your foot. How long do these things last? I've had mine for two years and it looks like they're still kind of brand new. The shoe itself has maintained pretty much the same appearance. I have seen no tears or any, any cuts or anything like that within the upper uh, part of the shoe. All the mesh has stayed intact pretty well. The biggest complaint here would just be the metal spikes, but that's bound to happen. Um, as you run on them over time and they are replaceable. I believe You can even add in longer ones if that's something that interests you But it just adds more money and a bit more cost on an already really pretty expensive shoe in my opinion The lugs have hung in there really well and are still quite beefy and thick Compared to some of my other shoes. So the rubber is very durable. I've seen no real compression in the cushioning either and so that's always a joy, it, especially if you're buying an expensive shoe, you want them to last. And again, these are a winter shoe. You're not gonna be using them the whole year long. It's gonna be a little more every now and then, depending on your location and your climate. Overall, I'd say these are a really great shoe, especially for the winter, especially if you live somewhere where it's it's snowing all the time, like Leadville, places that you can use these every day. But even if you're not in a place like that, like me, I still use them often on my overnights and when I go up to Mount Lemmon, and I think they're a really good thing to have in my gear closet, and I do use them. I like the added assurance that I have some metal spikes in the bottom of these shoes. They give me some added confidence when I go run in winter conditions. That is all I have for you. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate you being here. If you did enjoy this video, learn something, just found it entertaining, please like down below and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out and helps me bring you more videos so that we can review all of the shoes I have and hopefully give you a little more insight on purchasing your next trail shoe or what have you. So thank y'all so much for watching. Happy, happy trails. Bye.